Hi there, it's Julie the Paper Pixie from thepaperpixie.com and today I want to show you how to make this sweet little chocolate holder and I want to give a shout out to a fellow demonstrator Georgia Jaguer for her idea to make this little chocolate holder that is super quick and easy to make so you can make a whole bunch of them to give to um, friends and family. So let's get started. Um, this is going to showcase the new Eastern Palace designer series paper which is coming in the new catalog, which starts in June, but you as a customer will be able to pre-order it starting May 1st. So that is what this designer series paper is. And the stamp set that we're showcasing in this project is called Eastern Beauty, and that will also be available um, starting May 1st. So what we're gonna start with is a piece of designer series paper that measures three inches by four and a half inches. And we're going to use our Simply Scored. This is probably up there in the top five tools of my uh, top five favorite tools, uh, mostly because I love to make little favors like this. So on the short side, on the short side, so the three inch side, we are going to score at the one inch mark. And with designer series paper, you don't want to push down too hard when you make the score line. You don't want to break the paper fibers. Then we're going to just turn it sideways. So onto the four and a half inch side, and we're gonna score it at one, two, three, and four. Super easy. Um, since this paper is not, it's somewhat directional, the pattern is somewhat directional, but you really could go either way. Um, if you did have a paper pattern that was directional, you wanna make sure that your up and down direction is along the four and a half inch side, because, um, you, basically that direction is going to be the four and a half inch side is this direction of the box. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, so I can put away my scoreboard and we're going to go ahead and fold and burnish on all of our score lines. And what's nice with this project is because of its size, um, you can actually get, it depends. If you're using a directional paper, you can get eight of these out of one piece of 12 by 12 paper. If it's not a directional paper like this one, because really this could go either way, you can actually get 10 out of a 12 by 12 piece of paper. So quick and easy to make a whole bunch of these at once. Now using my paper snips, I'm going to go ahead and cut out this tall, or sorry, this tiny section right here. And I'm also going to notch in this little half inch section. Go ahead and cut along the score line here, and we're going to get rid of this little section there. So that's gone. And then we're going to cut up each of these three score lines up to this horizontal score line. And this is going to form the bottom flaps of our little favor. Okay? So you've got these four tabs now, and then this long tab along the side. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and fold this to where this tab is exposed. And you can use, um, I, I prefer to use the liquid glue here, or you can use our tear and tape adhesive. Um, for three dimensional items, you want to have um, a, a sturdier adhesive. So again, I would go with either the, the mono liquid glue, the mono multi liquid glue, or the fast, fu well, fast fuse or tear and tape. Those would be our three strongest adhesives. And I probably put a little bit too much glue there, but you want to put glue along that tab there. And then because this box is um, square in nature, all you need to do is just fold this flap down and that's going to line up exactly where you want it to line up. So I'm just going to go do some light pressure till that glue adheres. And because this is where we adhered the box, I'm going to consider this the back of our box. So that's gonna be the second to last flap that we close down. So I'm gonna close down the two sides, the back flap, which is the one that, that appears where our seam is, and then I'm just gonna put some adhesive here. And go ahead and adhere that down. So of course this looks nothing like our little container, but the magic is you're going to just pinch these front, two, these front two score lines and back two score lines. We're going to pinch those together. And you just need to pinch it at the top here. 
All right, so before we're gonna close our box, we've gotta put in our chocolate, of course. So these fit a Dove Promise perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. And then I'm gonna just staple the top shut. And don't worry about the ugliness of the staple, we're gonna actually hide it. So go ahead and staple that. And now I'm gonna want, I wanna dress up the front a little bit. So as you can see in this one, we've got a little banner running along the back and then we've got our sentiment. So for the banner, I've got a piece of cardstock and this is in the new in color Tranquil Tide. It coordinates with this paper, this designer series paper pack. And this measures five by one inch and I've scored it at the two and a half inch mark. So I'm gonna, well, before I, before I fold and burnish that, I'm gonna use our, ban our triple banner punch. It's called a triple banner punch because you can make banners for one inch, one and a half inch, or two inches. And what's great is it has this little guide here and I can just slide my one inch piece and you wanna slide it till it stops and go ahead and punch. And then we're gonna turn it around and do the other side. And I love those little banner ends. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the garbage, put that punch away, and I'm gonna go ahead and fold this and burnish that line here. And actually, <laughs> I stapled too early, so ignore that first staple because we're actually gonna staple the banner on. It's funny, I made 60 of these to take to um, Stampin' Up's on stage event in Savannah, Georgia uh, last weekend. And I had stapled all these shut first and then I came up with the design to add this banner. And I was like, well shoot, I already stapled them. So I pulled all the staples out and <laughs> decided to put the banner back. So I wasted a bunch of staples, but anyways. So you're gonna put the banner over. So skip the first staple I did, just ignore that. Put the banner over the edge there. We're kind of lining it up so it kind of covers those score lines. So I'm gonna do that and now I'm gonna staple. <laughs> All right, go ahead and staple. And again, we're gonna hide that ugly staple. Okay, so that is the box itself. Now let's work on the sentiment. So I'm gonna use another new in color called Fresh Fig. And we're gonna stamp that on Very Vanilla. Very Vanilla is one of the coordinating colors to that designer series paper. Tap, 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 tap real lightly so you don't get ink everywhere. And then we're gonna go ahead and stamp straight down and straight up. And using our one inch circle punch, I'm gonna go ahead and punch that sentiment out. I love turning our punches upside down so you can see exactly where you're punching. All right, we pop that out. I'm gonna close this ink pad so I don't get ink all over myself and my project. Okay, now using the one and a quarter inch circle, which is just slightly larger than a one inch, I am going to punch a circle out of Dapper Denim, which is one of um, the 2016 to 2018 in colors. Whoops. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is adhere the sentiment to the Dapper Denim circle. Just a tiny little circle of glue there is all you need. Go ahead and adhere that down. I love the mono multi glue because it gives you a moment to shift things around if you need to, to get it lined up just right. All right, so now I'm gonna also add from our metallics enamel shapes, the smallest circle. And I love using our paper piercing tool to pick up these embellishments. because it allows me to put it exactly where I want it. So it's just a little bit of bling on there. And the gold goes really well with the designer series paper here. Let me show you really quick what these, new, what these patterns are like. It's just gorgeous. So this is one side and there's the other side of that, the paper we're using for this project. And then this is just a sampling of the paper that's in this pack. It's just gorgeous, these colors together. And then there's two specialty pieces of paper you can see with that gold foil, just beautiful. And those are just one-sided, they're white on the other side. But that's why I decided to bring in the metallics enamel shapes and pull in that gold. All right, so on the back of that, we're just gonna stick one Stampin' Dimensional. And we're, this is what we're gonna use to hide that staple. Just stick that centered over that banner and voila, it's done. 
And this is such, like I said, such a fun and easy project to do. I made these in a different colorway for the uh, Savannah onstage event. Made, like I said, I made about 60 of them and they came together so quickly. I also had posted another um, sample of this on my blog that I made for my kiddos classmates for St. Patrick's Day. It's just a super quick and easy project to make. So I know that I'll be making these in other colorways and designs in the future. So if you have any questions about my project today, feel free to send me an email, give me a call. Um, I appreciate you stopping by today. I'm excited to get back into creating videos again. I just love these projects. So you'll see more of these projects for me here in the future. I love putting together little three-dimensional uh, favor type projects, one of my favorite things to do. And I love kind of spreading the love. I love making a few of these. My, my UPS guy gets um, a, lot of, a lot of these chocolates for me because he does deliver all my Stampin' Up! boxes. So anyways, I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for visiting the Paper Pixie and stop by my blog anytime. Uh, I do post frequently, so I'd love to have you subscribe to my blog so that you can get those updates to your inbox. Again, my website is thepaperpixie.com. Thanks again. Have a blessed day. Take care.